On the 6th of June 1944, more than 160,000 British, American and Canadian forces landed on Normandy. And an item manufactured in Birmingham proved vital to British troops. The whistles were the first signal, the first command to go ashore from the amphibious landing craft on the D-Day landings. When they were blown, the gates went down and men started to establish the beachheads. During World War II, Acme, based in the jury quarter, was dedicated to making whistles for the war effort, around 12 million in total. Another item it manufactured, which played a crucial role in field communications, was the clicker. It was used by British paratroopers, who were dropped in darkness behind enemy lines the night before D-Day. And of course, they land in an area they don't know, in a place they don't know. So what were they to do if they detected somebody in the bush over there or somebody in the road over there? And the answer to this was they used a clicker. They had a clicker dangling from their helmet and they would give a click. And of course, only we had the clickers. So if they got nothing back, there was a good chance this was foe, not friend. But if they heard two clicks back, it was one of ours and they knew they were safe. It was assumed that clickers would be captured and replicated, so they were only used for 24 hours. Hannah and Bradley's grandfather, who fought in World War II, passed on the clicker he kept to them. I remember for days, it was like my favourite toy. I'd be clicking it all the time, and it has still does have quite a lot of sentimental value to me, to be honest. But to me, it's still a big thing, because it's like the first thing he gave to me to kind of show what he used when he was in the war at those times. Their grandfather, Terry Carroll from Alum Rock, was 21 when he landed on Juno Beach on D-Day. His role was a gunner in a tank. He passed away last year. He, along with many other local veterans, have shared their stories of D-Day. Talking to uh, some of the D-Day veterans when they, they landed, one of the things they always told me about was the noise, the, the, the shells going off. The one thing they could hear was whistles. Whistles gave them the indication when to get off the ships, when to get up the beach. And, uh, and, and if they was following a leader, that was his main communication. Acme's been manufacturing whistles for around 150 years, a process which hasn't changed, still using much of the same machinery. It was this factory, around 200 miles from the coast of Normandy, that played a modest but crucial role in the D-Day landings. Danny Crawshaw, ITV News.